Okay, hello. This is General English 1, Unit 11, and the topic is school activities. Follow along on the worksheet if you have it. If not, that's okay. <clears throat> so look and listen and repeat. What are some school activities that you used to do? Again, what are some school activities that you used to do? Well, when I was in high school, I used to play American football and baseball. And I was, I think I was a member of the Spanish club. In college or university, I played <clears throat> intramur intramural sport sports, intramural sports, meaning not my university against other universities, but um, floors, meaning the floors that you lived on versus other floors. <clears throat> so intramural sports are very informal, they're just for fun, um, just to build team spirit on your floor and just for exercise. We played uh, football, American football and basketball and softball. Softball is like baseball, but it's slower and the ball is much bigger and softer. Okay, you can pause the video and practice that question along with some follow-up questions. Who, what, when, where, how, and why, alone or with a partner. Okay, and now the vocabulary. Look, listen, and repeat. The music club, the drama club, a sports club, the dance club, taekwondo, apkido, the movie club, the volunteer club, the study club, the travel club, the debate club, student orientation, membership training. So the reason I have a sports club is because there might be the basketball club, the volleyball club, etc. And these two student orientation and membership training um, are clubs at the university that I teach at now. I'm not sure why it's OT, but anyways. Um, so you can pause the video and fill in the blanks alone and then come back for the answers or you can just do it with me. So I'm going to say what's number one, two, et cetera, and you're going to say it's whatever. So what's number one? It's a sports club. What's number two? It's a movie club. What's number three? It's oops, a study club. What's number four? It's the dance club. What's number five? It's student orientation. What's number six? It's the music club. What's number seven? It's the volunteer club. What's number eight? It's membership training. What's number nine? It's Taekwondo or Taekwondo or Hapkido. What's number 10? It's the Travel Club. What's number 11? It's the Drama Club. And what's number 12? It's the debate club. Good. Okay, and now the dialogue. So look, listen, and repeat, and try to use some emotion and some body language. All right. Hey, Hajun, are you a member of any school clubs? Well, I used to be in the debate club, but it got boring. 
Oh, really? I'm thinking of joining the drama club. Wow, that sounds fun. I used to act in high school. I kind of miss it. And I used to sing and dance, but I wanna try something different. Then let's check out the drama club together. Definitely, that sounds fun. Yeah, well, I have to go, Heather. I'll text you later. Okay, you can pause the video and practice that alone or with a partner. Um, if you do it with a partner, do it two times and switch roles. Either way, um, change the names and information. Okay, and now pronunciation, pronunciation. So look at my mouth and listen and repeat. Z, zoo, zipper, music, activities, clubs, clothes. So Koreans often pronounce this sound z, as j, like Jeff or Jar or Jim or <clears throat> Jet, like a J or a G. Okay, like Egypt. And that's because the sound Z doesn't exist in the Korean language. So what's the difference? So look at my mouth. This sound, j, this sound, z, j, z, j, z, j, z. So which sound is produced with your mouth being in a relaxed position? Z, like this, z, z, not j. So relax your mouth. And then there's a difference between the use of your tongue as well. With j, you're pushing your tongue against your teeth. Your teeth, your tongue. J, 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 j. So relax your tongue. Z. Your tongue is just sitting there and it's vibrating a little. Z, 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 z. So it's not j, it's z, z, zoo. Zipper music, activities, clubs, clothes, all right? So focus on that sound during this lesson. All right, and now some example topic questions. Listen and repeat. What are some school activities that you are involved in now? Number two, what are some school activities that you used to do? Number three, do you, think it's, do you think it's important for students to join clubs or do other activities? Why or why not? Four, what's an activity that you regret doing or not doing? Five, are there any activities that you plan on doing in the future? Six, if you could create a new club, what would it be? And you can make some new questions. Maybe, do you think clubs are important for developing social skills or networking? or your mental health, um, would you join an online club? Maybe you're busy or you travel a lot to get to school. All right, and of course, use the system. A topic question from person A and one or more follow-up questions, who, what, when, where, how, why, 
and a switch question from person B. How about you? And then person B will ask some follow-up questions and then a new topic question and so on and so forth. It should be a relaxed, real conversation like you would have with a friend, not an interview or an interrogation or two robots talking and speak in complete sentences and try not to read. Okay, and now the grammar. Used to, never used to, didn't used to. So you notice used to, never used to, didn't used to, use. So used, past tense, used, past tense, did, past tense, didn't. So you don't need D here, but they sound the same. Used to, used to, never used to, used to, used to, used to. It doesn't matter if there's a D or not in terms of pronunciation. So you can do this on your own and then come back for the answers or just do it with me. Um, and some have... Some sentences have two possible answers. When, when Dr. King, when Dr. Kim was a university student, he used to belong to the science club. I never used to or didn't used to like to sing until I joined the music club. Now I love it. Kenny used to be on some sports teams, but now he's on the debate team. Min Jun never used to, didn't used to. So never and didn't, those are negatives um, until and but tell you that there's a change from negative to positive or positive to negative, okay? So now that we've gone over the grammar, you can practice the conversation part again and focus on the grammar, either alone or with a partner. And either way, when you're done, um, do some writing about um, school activities that you do and used to do and use, used to, never used to, and didn't used to. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and participating. I'm Jeff Buck and good luck.